Hello again. Well, as you can see, I am filming the child's bedroom of my first canal house. And you may have seen last week's video where I bought a little, well, not so little, a rabbit. And I thought I might put it in here even though this room is already quite full. Um, I might just put him there. Uh, with some friends. Um, although you can't really see him very well over there because it's blocked by this Ferris wheel. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I should put them in one of the other rooms so we can get a better look at him. Or maybe here in the corner. Then he'll be blocking the light, which is a shame. Um, maybe just put him in one of the other rooms. How about I put him in this room because I still have some space here by the end of the bed. And there's a rabbit in here already, <laughs> so they can be friends. Um, over here, perhaps. There, you can see him much better. He's quite big. <laughs> I quite like that. Yeah, I think I'll put him... I'll leave him there. Because the other room, like I said last week, this room or this house, basically it's finished. I don't really have room for new things. <laughs> so I think he'll live here for now. And then uh, maybe if I have a space in my second canal house, Whenever that's finished, that's going to take years. Uh, I might move him. But for now, I think he looks very happy there. So last week I showed you some of the things I bought and there are a few small things I haven't showed you yet. Like these pieces. These are by Fanny Cole Ceramics. Fanny Cole Miniatures. See that? Fanny Cole Miniatures. And uh, they have They've got loads of uh, miniatures, uh, tiles, um, everything for, you know, outdoor flower, uh, uh, what do you call them? Ba well, not baskets, because they're ceramic, but uh, pots, flower pots and all sorts of fun things. I should have filmed it. <laughs> I didn't. Um, but I got these which I really liked. They kind of remind me of olive jars, so they could go in uh, the storeroom or basement or the attic. Uh, I like them. And they were quite cheap. Oh, they're signed. I think they were 750 and nine euros, if I remember correctly. And the other, they they really did have lovely vases and uh, other things. But I was trying to restrain myself. <laughs> so I got those because I just love the color. And there's another thing I forgot to show you. This was made by Bill Verson Miniatures. 
And I've showed you her work last week, uh, last year as well at the German, well, not last year, that was in May, I believe, or the 1st of June, something like that. Um, so yeah, she makes wicker baskets and furniture. And uh, so I bought another basket. I just love baskets. <laughs> And this was at the end of the fair, so she already sold loads of stuff. So, yeah. I really like this. Where is the camera? Here we go. Yeah. Very pretty. Really like that with the handle. I love the shape. So... Very pleased with that as well. Put that back in. And then I bought something else that was really beautiful. And uh, these things are all bought on the Sunday. Uh, so I was just lucky that they were still there. Um, Sunday afternoon, because it was late in the day. Um, so this is, look. How beautiful. So this is a, a cradle and this is real wicker. So this is by Esme Hoffman. Do I have a card? I don't. But she is um, a full scale and also miniature wicker uh, worker. And her work is unbelievably beautiful. So I saw this and I just loved it. And again, <laughs> like I said last week, I don't really like baby stuff. And uh, I was just, just before I bought this, I was talking to a friend and we were both saying, both saying that we didn't like all the baby stuff and the uh, kids stuff that much or Kid stuff uh, sometimes like the like the bear teddy bears and stuff I do I do like those, but baby stuff I don't care for baby stuff. Then I came over to Esme's table and I saw this and I immediately <laughs> thought, oh, I want to have that. It was it's just so beautiful, so wonderfully made. I love it and. Uh, yeah, it, I thought I, I could put it in the attic or, uh, I don't know, maybe just like a storeroom or maybe as decoration, put a teddy bear, bear in it. I don't know yet. I just love it. So I bought it. Uh, yeah. Really, really nice. And there was another item and I just thought that was very fun. And someone said, oh, it looks like a snowshoe. And it does a little bit, but it's for baguettes, French bread. Uh, so it's a bread tray. And I also thought that was very fun. Um, that will look nice in the kitchen, I think. Uh, even on the wall, that will look great. But of course, with bread on it, it, it also looks really nice. So, yeah. Bought those two things as well. Esme Hoffman. Her name is. I don't. Sorry, I don't have a card. That's a pity. It's not on here either. Nope. So, yeah. Mm. Very happy with that. But then, the last item I would like to show you. I'll put this aside. Um, and I showed you last week, I showed you this parcel. <laughs> uh, this was also very special and I'm, I'm so happy I found this. This was, there was an antiques, um, an antiques dealer, uh, at the fair and she had lots of little silver pieces and quirky pieces, little porcelain pieces and uh, some um, artist 
pieces that, you know, the carpenters that they made these uh, pieces to show off their skills and their small chests of drawer. And they're too big for for uh, the doll's house, but they're beautiful. That, that She had some really nice pieces. So I was looking at her table and this was, yeah, again, Sunday afternoon. And, um, and I came across this. And I'll show you. Well, you can probably already tell what it is. It's a table. There we are. It's a vintage table. And it's just so beautiful. It's a beautiful little half round table, maybe a side table, I'm not sure. Um, and it has got wonderful inlay on top, very finely done. And I love the colors. I love that warm brown tones with the lighter inlay. But anyway, you may have seen just before <laughs> that it has four legs and the two back legs actually move and they can be pulled out like that. And it has a lovely little mechanism there in the center. And then the table leaf can be flipped open. And then you have a wonderful round dining table or something. A table with a star motif in the middle. Um, it may not be a dining table because I measured it and it's... A little bit high to be a dining dining table. In real life, this would be 87 centimeters approximately. So that's a bit high for a dining table. And I did notice it when I saw when I saw it on the um, the table of the cellar. Um, but I thought it was just it's so beautifully made that that uh, I didn't think that mattered very much. I can use it some other way. Uh, just look at the beautiful detail and it's very simple but it's beautifully made the inlay is perfect and this was made in 1982 mind you so <laughs> there was no uh, CNC cutting or anything this is entirely hand done and look at the beautifully made legs uh, fluted legs with fluting on top on all four sides of the legs and uh Handmade casters, of course, they work. They roll and they turn and, uh, yeah, really, really nice. I just love this table. It does have a few little issues. There's some veneer missing at the edges, but that's all right. It can be restored. It's not a big deal. So I bought it. I just loved it. It's, it you can tell it's a beautifully made piece. It's, yeah, and it's signed underneath. Now I did ask a lot of <laughs> the um, people at the fair, uh, especially the ones that have been exhibiting there longer, <laughs> if they knew what the initials, um, who's who was the maker of this table, and no one seemed to know. Uh, the initials are D-E-W-H, and it says handmade, uh, the year is 1982, and there's a number below it seven what does it say seven two seven so I did a little bit of digging and googling <laughs> and um, I found out who made it and let's have a look at it so my google search uh, first led me to this site because I googled uh, the initials of the maker D E W H and I came across this chair and it had the same here you can see it the same um, signature basically the same initials handmade and here this one's made 1971 I believe however um, it didn't mention anything uh, the maker uh, just the, the initials, they didn't know the maker either, <laughs> apparently. Um, so I had to continue my search. And my next find was, let's see, I think it was this one. 
Yeah, this was the this the other one I found. And here, this is um I think it's an auction catalog from the Adele Venus collection of miniatures, sale two seventy nine. And this was from two thousand and thirteen. And here it says over here there's two beautiful desks and it says a Louis the 15th style parquetry and gilt metal mounted bureau plat Dennis E. W. Hillman and well it describes the table and it's rather lovely and here it says the underside of the top inscribed D-E-W-H handmade 1977-467 so then I knew um, that his name I mean it was it must have been I thought it was the same one so his name was Dennis E. W. Hillman and here's another one again Dennis E. W. Hillman and this one is from 1980 Two beautiful pieces, uh, not similar to mine, but the the initials uh, are the same and the way it's dated is the same. Um, so I thought that must be it. And then I found this website, Goranges, and here it had a lot by Dennis Hillman, Louis the 15th style marquetry inlaid miniature two tier étagère, height two and a half inches. And Dennis Hillman, so the initials were right. And uh, it says here um, a very similar pair of miniature étagères by Dennis Hillman were sold by Leslie Hindman, Hindman auctioneers of. Uh, in 2013. Dennis Hillman was a fellow of the International Guild of Miniature Artisans and he was born 1924, passed away 2011. He was widely regarded as one of the finest ever exponents of the art of making miniature furniture. His specialty was miniatures of Louis XV and the 16th furniture, which included a copy of the famous Bureau du Roi, which took five years to complete, containing six over 16,000 individual pieces. This, along with other remarkable pieces by Hillman, are in the Eden, Eden and Ravenscroft collection, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> His work was the subject of a BBC program, A Small World, in 1977. And I thought that was very interesting. So I had a look at that um, video there. Let me see. Now, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show you this video. Uh, but this was, let me just fast forward a little bit. Here is he. You'll have to watch his video yourself. But um, let me see if I can. There he is, the man himself. There he is. This is Dennis Hillman in his workshop and on this BBC uh, video. And here he's turning a leg. Now, they said in this video that he has this a uh, wonderful system of uh, if you're ever tempted he says something like if you're ever tempted to copy um, a piece by him uh, then don't because um, he has a very secret num uh, way of numbering his pieces um, which which no one knows how to do and uh, but I thought that was funny um, but he's here he is working on his pieces, everything cut by hand. And, uh, yeah, there we go, the casters. <laughs> but this is a wonderful, wonderful video. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, you have to watch it. It's it's really fun. It's old. I mean, this, this video is from 1977. But um, uh, I think in this video you can tell 
does he have the yeah there we go there we go here i'll show you this bit the numbers are there. a secret sequence there we the go star means it will never be repeated that's the signature so there we are now i know who it is by so it's quite a special piece and i'm i'm absolutely delighted that i've got this piece um and uh i'm also delighted that i actually recognize the work of a great great maker so yeah very 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 happy with that and i'll put a link to this video in the description because it's it's a fun video as you can see the height is the same as this side table so i thought for the moment it could live in this room we'll just take that away for a second and uh, Carefully, the bottle has already dropped. Put that over there. Put this over here. <laughs> it fits perfectly in here. <laughs> so I'll just put that back here. I'm sure this is not the final position, but uh, we'll just leave that here for now. There. And that is also very, very dusty. I could see my thumbprint on, on the sideboard. But um, at least it's, uh, you can really see it well over here. Um, the, the point, the, well, it's not really a problem, but the thing with um, uh, miniatures that can, actually, that actually work, so it can, like this tabletop flips open, you never really see it because everything is, well, you know, it's not real, so you're not actually using it. But anyway, um, this is what the room looks like at the moment. So I've put it in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so pleased with this. Really happy I got this. <laughs> Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Until next time.